Well, this is James from North Mississippi again. Just want to give you an update on my uh, truck here. I've been working on the air conditioning, and the first thing that happened is that I charged it, and I think I overcharged it because I blew out a connector piece right down in here. And uh, after multiple attempts to try to repair it, I couldn't, so I ended up putting a whole new condenser on, and it's hard to see that uh, black piece right here is the new condenser and then I had to put a new discharge line on that comes down right here this piece right here goes into the evaporator and uh, the connection between those two had just totally blown out it was unrepairable after that I charged my uh, system up and uh, at rest this is the I think those gauges are going to show up very well but it's got about uh, 82 PSI in both sides of the system right now. When running, the uh, low side will run down to the mid-30s, and as the, as the uh, pressure builds up in the high side, it will drop down just a little bit around in the 20s, and it'll kick off. And the pressure will build back up, and it kind of kicks on and off uh, based on the low pressure side. The high pressure side runs right at, it's hard to see, right at around uh, 200 uh, PSI just a little lower than that and as it was going along cooling nicely the inside temperature of the cab cooled off all of a sudden smoke started welling out of this so I uh, turned it off and I checked it with my little uh, infrared thermometer and uh, sure enough the temperature of this thing was about 136 degrees Fahrenheit to me that didn't seem like it was very hot I've got another little fan motor here, uh, and its motor was running 154 uh, Fahrenheit, and it was doing just fine. But this little motor didn't seem to like that very well, so I let everything cool off, and I tried it again. And uh, after about five minutes, smoke and sparks are coming out from the uh, external fan, and then the uh, entire motor failed. So I'm going to disassemble this and uh, take the motor apart and see what's going on and uh, see if I can repair it. If not, I'm either going to have to come up with another external motor to uh, drive my compressor or may switch over to the master flux system and uh, see how that works. Anyway, that's just a quick update of what I've been doing lately with my uh, truck. This is James from North Mississippi. Well, this is James from North Mississippi again. We've had a uh, major change in my Ford Ranger. I uh, blew out the electric motor that was running the uh, air conditioning pump and I decided to take it out and it was indeed shorted out. So I've got to decide what I'm going to do with that. In the meantime, I decided, decided to uh, drive the truck without an air conditioner, which is uh, not real pleasant in Mississippi, but it's all right. And I drove about 10 miles down the road and started hearing a loud clicking noise and turned around and tried to get home. Could not make it home before the motor completely quit. There was smoke coming out of it. It was hot as it could be. And um, my truck died. Got my father-in-law to pull me home and uh, started looking at it and realized I was going to have to take the whole motor out. It took me five and a half hours, but I've got it out now. It's sitting on the bench and this is it and here is the problem I don't know if you can see but uh, this right here is one of the four brush holders and it has become dislodged and I'll give you a view from this side I hope, hope you can see this uh, let me see if I can get the camera situated can see that but those brushes are broken this is kind of awkward and yeah not only are the brushes broken but you can see the uh, stator has big gaps out of it just chunks are missing and uh, I've actually turned the motor several times and 
all the uh, brushes are broken somewhere. So I'm not sure exactly why that happened, but this motor is pretty much so toast. I've got a local uh, uh, motor repair shop around here. I'm going to see if they can do something with it. And uh, I may be able to uh, salvage it, but I'm not so sure that I would trust it after this, I, since I really don't know why that happened. I have some theories, but I'm not sure exactly. This is what uh, my engine bay or my motor bay looks like with uh, everything out. Basically, I only disconnected a few wires. Everything else is still intact, and I've got it just tilted up and held out of position so I can get the uh, motor disconnected from the transmission. This is actually the way I installed it. Um, I did not take the transmission out when I did it. I installed it with the transmission in place. And this is the um, uh, motor support. I just stuck it back in there for a brief brief time until I get a, another motor put in. I, I've decided I'm going to use a different adapter plate. The original adapter plate I used right here and while they said it was one that fit my uh, Ranger it didn't and I had to modify it all the holes you see around the edges I don't know if you can see where I made marks but I redesigned it and, and uh, had to drill new holes and recentered it the best I could now I'm not a machinist I got it pretty close but there was some vibration when you would hit around 47 miles an hour it would shake but you got up around 50 it would stop again so I, I knew it wasn't in perfect balance plus in order to get it to line up this is the uh, hub and all those those bolts were supposed to be this perfect pattern for my uh, flywheel well they weren't and I ended up having to open up one hole a little bit larger right here to make this thing fit and I tell you to your eye and actually putting a mic on it 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 rolled perfectly smooth but I can't imagine when you're really getting at some speed uh, that it, it didn't have some it wasn't off some so I think I'm going to put a whole new flywheel on and um, have it balanced and I've got another adapter plate coming I'm going to try one of the Canadian EV adapter plates they have one in stock uh, there's no waiting it's going to be here in about four or five days and I'll just uh, bolt that puppy together and see how she works now the other issues since this motor is trash I was uh, going to start assembling a uh, an electric vehicle for a friend of mine he's doing a Chevy HHR and he brought his transmission over I had to order all the parts for him and lo and behold his motor sitting right there in the crate in my shop and that's exactly the motor that I've got so I talked to him yesterday and I'm basically just going to buy him a new motor and um, I'm going to use this one because he's nowhere near ready. He's left his transmission over here for me to hook it up. Uh, it's just sitting here in my shop. I've been moving it around. Um, but uh, we will get to his vehicle probably this fall sometime. So that's where we are. Dead in the water here in North Mississippi. This is James. Have a good day. Bye.